At the turn of the century, they were hunted for their valuable blubber, and their numbers were decimated. Now protected by law, California sea lions have come back with a vengeance. Today, they're making themselves right at home in some unexpected places. To the delight of some, and the exasperation of others. Come on, guys. Twenty-six miles off the coast of Santa Barbara lies the island of San Miguel. Dr. Bob DeLong, a biologist with the National Marine Fisheries Service, has been studying seal colonies here for the past 20 years. California sea lions return each year to these beaches to mate and raise their pups. San Miguel is home to more than half of all sea lions in U.S. waters. The island also serves as a breeding ground for three other seal species, including these elephant seals. Nature has evolved a timeshare arrangement, which allows the different species to use the breeding rookery throughout the year. What it tells us is that this is precious habitat that they utilize it extremely efficiently with elephant seals breeding in the winter time and sea lions and fur seals and harbor seals in, in the summer time. Each summer, when it's the sea lion's turn, the males come home from their northern migrations and prepare to fight for territory on the small island. Only the strongest and most dominant males will find mates here, so competition is fierce. While the adults fight it out, young animals spend most of the day playing and feeding in the surf. Sea lions crowd the beaches now, but this has not always been the case. In late 1930, there were only about 1,000 California sea lions remaining here. And subsequent to that, the population has grown and grown and grown. And it's currently increasing at about 5% annually to where there are on the order of 12,000 pups born here. And that equates to a population of between 45 and 50,000 California sea lions here. By late spring, the island is a vast nursery. Females give birth to a single young every one or two years and may nurse for as long as 11 months. To keep up with their pups' voracious appetites, mothers forage in the ocean for several days at a time. Then they must somehow find their own young amid the throng on shore. Biologists believe that a female recognizes her pup by its smell and by the unique sound of its cries. 